So the Los Angeles Lakers, they are 21 and 20 through the first 41 games of the season. Not playing well. They're not they don't look well. They don't look good. They don't look cohesive. Anthony Davis is still out with the MCL sprain. You have Kendrick Nunn that hasn't played all season. Taylor Horton Tucker has been inconsistent at best. You've had some bright spots as well, though. Austin Reeves is playing well as a rookie, undrafted rookie. I think Dwight Howard has played very well for the Lakers in the opportunities that he gets. Malik Monk has been really, really good for the Lakers. Uh, it's been a, a, a big scoring help. Avery Bradley has played solid. So they have some pieces that are working here. They do. LeBron James is playing out of his mind. 37 years old, I don't think he's played any better in regards to scoring the basketball. You know, for years, you know, they've always said, oh, he doesn't have a killer instinct, doesn't score the basketball enough. LeBron James just didn't want to. It's not the fact that he couldn't. That's just not how his game is. He's a guy that likes to get people involved. He likes to have a well-rounded game, play great defense, you know, find his teammates. When he needs to kick it into high gear in regards to scoring, he will do that. This season, he has to score a little more because the need is there. And what a stretch he's been on. And I, I, I say all of these great things about the team. You know, I, I say that they have some bright spots here, but they've struggled. Frank Vogel has not been a bright spot in my opinion. I think his rotations have gotten way worse than they've ever been in his career. Carmelo Anthony, Carmelo Anthony's been very good. Defensively, he's never been great, so whatever he gives you defensively, you just got to take it. The one really, really negative spot here is the point guard, Russell Westbrook. There were some reports about a week ago, maybe more, that the Lakers were having internal discussions about trading Russell Westbrook. But here's the situation, is that there's no market. New report has come out is that the trade market is very, very non-existent for Russell Westbrook. There is minimum interest on the market for Russell Westbrook. His contract is too high. He has another year left on a deal. He's 33 years old, and his game is in decline. Everybody knows his game is in the client except Russ. He had an interview the last game after they lost to the Grizzlies, and they asked the question, you know, how do you feel, you know, the fact that the team needs scoring, you know, do you recognize that, that you know, times where they need the scoring that you, you know, you have to provide a little bit more, more, more firepower? Russell Westbrook's response was, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I guess, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm not in position. How are you not in position? It, it, it bothers me to no end to know that there's a basketball player that's on the most decorated franchise in all of basketball that has no awareness about what he has to do on the basketball court. Just a few games back, he said, my game is not predicated on how many turnovers I have or how many shots I miss. It's about doing other things. Well, over the past few games, Russell Westbrook has averaged about, what, 13 points? I think he's, like, maybe nine rebounds, nine assists, something like that. He's shooting 35%. He's might be, you know, in that stretch, he may be shooting like 20% from three. For the season, he's down below 30% from three. He's just not efficient. Now, wh what team will, will trade for that? There is none. Not even if you attach something to him. It's not going to matter. This is what the Lakers have put themselves into. They are not going to be able to get themselves out. This season will not end in a banner season. They will not get to the NBA Finals.
They will not get to the Western Conference Finals. Because when you have a guy like Russell Westbrook, you are either out of the first round or you're damn sure out of the second. Because you cannot sustain Westbrook for an entire season. You might be able to go through certain stretches where he doesn't burn you. But at the same time, that check is going to come due come playoff time. It is. Ask Harden. He wanted to get out of there. Look at the Wizards. They were trash the whole season. Then they sneak into the playoffs. And what are they doing in the playoffs? Nothing. There's certain decisions you make in life that you have to eat. That you have to just accept the consequences. Whatever it is, good or bad. And LeBron James was thinking, man, you know, I, I need another ball handler. I need another guy that could be able to take the scoring load when, you know, I'm load managing or we need we need a, 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 a guy to step up. And you went to go get him. Not Buddy Heald. Not DeMar DeRozan that's having a great season with the Chicago Bulls, by the way. And it wouldn't have cost you that much to get him. Spurs weren't going to bust you over the head with, 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 with any particular offer. But you chose door number three. You chose the door that has a hole in it. You know, it's cut poorly at the bottom. It has caution tape on it. And you still walk through it. So how can I feel bad as a Laker fan today? We caused this. We brought it on ourselves. And as much as I love LeBron James, as much as I respect Rob Palenka, they are the ones to blame. So whatever happens to this, this team this season, however they finish, that's where the blame needs to go. Rob Palenka brought the information to LeBron. LeBron told him exactly who he wanted as a GM you can be able to say, LeBron, I respect you. I respect exactly what you're trying to do. I love the input, but I'm going DeRozan or I'm going Buddy Healed. And then if we need to upgrade any more during the season, we'll figure it out. But I am not getting Russell Westbrook. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We need something that is going to be able to help us now. We need camaraderie. We don't need to tear it down anymore. And deal with that guy. That's what a GM is supposed to do. Not be the beck and call of your aging superstar. That's all I'm saying. LeBron James has to play out of his mind. But I know when he goes home, kisses his, his wife and kids, sits there and watches the news and watches all the stories that are coming in and all the analytic takes I know he's like man if only I would have just waited on DeRozan if only we would have just got Buddy healed. hell you saw Buddy Heald shake Jeannie Buss's hand at the game the other night he knew he was going to be a Laker he was just waiting and it didn't happen didn't happen it's the most disappointing thing that has happened to me as a Laker fan in quite some time. I'm not going to lie to you. It's depressing. I remember when the rumors started about Westbrook. I made a video. It's on YouTube. I said, why? Why? Doesn't make sense. But to the smartest guy in the room, it made plenty of sense. If I can win with Russell Westbrook, I am the greatest of all time. Everybody else has failed. Harden. Durant. Beal, if I can do it, I'll be the best. I don't care if it doesn't fit, we'll make it fit. Well, here's the problem with that. You see, when you try to make something fit that doesn't really belong there, you can get it in there, right? But trying to remove it is going to be the hardest thing you have ever done. That's where the Lakers are. 
is that they have put a square peg in a round hole. They shoved it in there. Now they can't get it out. Now no one wants it. Everybody told you not to do it. And now you're trying to dangle that same destruction in front of them and say, you want this? No, I don't. You can have it, though. Done great with it. Figure it out. That's where they are. So wherever the Lakers end up this season, they have themselves to blame because there's no market. They won't be a market for him. And that's just the way it's going to end. These next two years in Laker land are not going to be pretty. They really aren't. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be must basketball. It's going to be a soap opera for all the wrong reasons.